Maulana Ghulam Rasul Mair the 13th of April 1893 to the 16th of November 1971 Maulana Ghulam Rasul Mr or Ghulam Rasul Mair born in Fulpur a village in the district of Jalandhar India is a well-known Muslim scholar from the Indian subcontinent He was a Muhammad Iqbal and Mirza Ghalib scholar as well as a political activist He wrote his autobiography named Mair BT recalling his early years in Fulpur Maulana says I feel we were living in paradise. Suddenly uprooted from there, we had the feeling of wandering into a desert." Mare BT provides graphic descriptions of Fulper's culture and that of adjoining villages. <laughs> Early life He got his basic primary education from a primary school of Cambra. Then he was educated at Mission High School in Jalandhar City. After his school years in Jalandhar, he enrolled at Islamia College Lahore, where he developed a fondness for the city. He found Lahore to be culturally different from Delhi and Lucknow. Maulana felt that while Delhi and Lucknow reflected the Eastern culture, Lahore, on the other hand, was a happy blend of the East and the West. Career. At the same time, Maulana Mare was deeply involved in the developments on the Indian political front. The Indian Muslims, apart from their participation in the Pakistan movement, were agitated at what was happening, at that time, in the Muslim world. Young Maulana Mare, who had just completed his education and who had a passion to serve the cause of freedom and the Muslim Malat nation, began writing in the Daily Zamindar newspaper and eventually started working there. Maulana Ghulam Rasul Mare and Abdul Majid Salak founded Daily Inchilab, Lahore newspaper on 4 April 1927. It was in Lahore that Maulana Mare had the opportunity to meet Allama Shibli Namani and Nawab Waqar ul Mulk Kambo, who were members of a delegation from Aligarh Muslim University. He also had the opportunity to listen to Allama Muhammad Iqbal recite his verses at the annual conference of Anjuman e Hamayat e Islam. Maulana Mare also spent some time in Hyderabad. Though he did not succeed in getting a suitable job, living there gave him the opportunity to attain a political education for himself. And it was in Hyderabad that he turned his attention from poetry to prose. This practice proved helpful, when he started his journalism career with an editorial published in the Daily Zamindar newspaper in 1921. Soon Maulana joined the paper and was in the thick of the battle going on in the name of freedom and turek i Khilafat, Khilafat movement. He had already joined Hezbollah, an organization started by Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. In fact, Azad was an important influence on Maulana Mare, and the latter drew inspiration from what was published in Al Halal newspaper. Maulana Mare had made a brief survey of different movements, political as well as religious, which were going on in those times, and had given his opinions on them. His circumstances did not allow him to complete his memoirs. So we might see his memoirs as a scattered autobiography offering us a lot from the fields of literature to politics. <laughs> Death and legacy Towards the end of his life, Maulana Mair decided to record his life for the benefit of future generations. Muhammad Hamza Faruqi has compiled and brought out the volume called Mare BT. It has been published by Al Faisal Nashrin, Lahore. Maulana had dictated it to his son, Farooq Arshad Shaheen, and daughter, Munira Alvi. There is an introductory note written by them which says that they had the opportunity to see their father and listen to him only during lunchtime. It was at their ardent appeal that he agreed to recount his life story, from the early years to the end, including his devotion to causes close to his heart. Maulana Mare once wrote in a letter to a friend that his children were eager to know about their family origins. This desire, according to him, was the consequence of his family's migration at the time of partition of India in 1947, when they had to leave their land of birth, Fulpur, a village in the district of Jalandhar. <laughs> Books He wrote, compiled, edited and translated over 100 books. Some of his notable publications include G. H. Alab, Life and Works of Mirza Asadullah Khan Ghalib, 1797-1869, Urdu poet 
Iqbaliyat, on the life and works of Sir Muhammad Iqbal, 1877–1938, collected articles Tariq, H. I. Sindh, on the history of Sindh Yamiat Rilla Fi Al Hiyas, 1348 h. 1930m, Impressions of Pilgrimage to Mecca, in Arabic Sar Umar Hayat K. H. and Tavana, Savani Hayat Aur Un Ki K. H. Andani Tariq, H. Ka Pa Manzar, on the life of Umar Hayat Khan Tawana, 1874-1944, renowned politician from South Asia, includes historical study of his family. See also Pakistan Movement Allama Muhammad Iqbal Aligarh Muslim University Zamindar newspaper Al Halal newspaper Jalandar List of Pakistani journalists <laughs>